and they feel so terrible that in the divorce process, they just give away the store. They give everything to, you know, you, you can have everything, I don't care, I don't care. One of the biggest challenges people face either when they start a divorce proceeding or they consider a breakup is guilt across the board. They feel guilty for the other person, they feel guilty for themselves, maybe for their kids, and it can be a paralyzing experience. It can stop them from leaving, it can, it can stop them from moving on once they've passed the divorce process. How, how do we address, what's, what's our advice for people? How can we help them address guilt? I think guilt is a very normal feeling to have. However, I think that any feeling, it, it has a function and it can be useful in some essence and it's just it's not useful in other essences. So the way I think that guilt can be useful is if we could shift it into a kind of a remorse where you could actually sense that the impact that you've had, whether you've had it in the way that you have been in the divorce or the marriage and um, how you have impacted your spouse, your own life, and uh, your in-laws, everybody who was there, friends and the society that was around us, the community that was around us, and our children more than anything. I think people really have feel guilt about their children. Taking responsibility for your actions in the marriage and what might have led to the end of the marriage and being guilt, guilty. Guilt really doesn't serve you, serve you or your family well. And where I see it coming in is when people feel so guilty because they're the person that did the bad thing and caused the end of the, the marriage. And they feel so terrible that in the divorce process, they just give away the store. And they give everything to, you know, you, you can have everything, I don't care, I don't care. And they don't care about themselves because they're beating themselves up. And they don't care about their kids. And what they don't realize is divorce is a process and how you go through that process will affect the rest of your life. And the problem is if you give away everything and leave nothing for yourself, six months later when the divorce is over, you're gonna be in a bad way. And it's not only gonna affect you, but it's going to affect your ability to support your children and to be with your children. So my advice to everybody would be, take responsibility for what's yours, own what's yours you don't have to be guilty about it and you don't have to let that guilt inhibit the rest of your life. Absolutely. You know that guilt can kind of be turned into shame. A lot of people carry the shame and that in turn runs into this rabbit hole of anxiety and depression and now you're kind of in this negative suck zone and you're getting pulled down by this instead of using that guilt to catapult you into a better place. Learn the lessons. As you said, take responsibility. This is what I brought to the table. This is what I did wrong. Yes, it was wrong. Forgive yourself and don't do it again. Move on and then leave the guilt behind. But part of that is moving forward and not committing the same transgressions twice. You know, talking about this emotion of guilt being very low on that energetic emotional scale, it doesn't serve us. And I think we all agree. It's getting to that point of what can I learn about myself from this guilt that I might be feeling? How can I learn the mistakes that I might have made? Or even for people who weren't committing adultery or having infidelity or affairs, just someone who found you know, their happiness isn't derived from their marriage any longer, and so they're terminating the marriage, they may feel guilty about the impact that it has on the family, the extended family, the children. But I think yeah, we're all in agreement that it's just learning. All these things are learning opportunities for our own personal growth and hopefully opportunities for maintaining a friendship at least for people who are gonna be co-parenting together. It's I think one crucial. person really feels guilt. Um, most of the time when they've been in infidelity. And um, if someone is complete with the marriage and they want to leave the marriage and then yet the other person is not ready mm -hmm. and they feel guilty for rejection and rejecting the other person and they feel like they're the one who are really hurting the kids because the other partner really wants to stay and they're the one who are pulling the plug and saying, I need to leave. And I've seen that guilt are there much more than any other time. Um, when people are fighting, when both are fighting and angry at each other and anger is out, you see the guilt not there at that time, but somehow after the mm -hmm. divorce process, the guilt hits. Mm -hmm. But sometimes inside, before like the pre-divorce, uh, the guilt hits. So it comes in different stages too. The other thing that people feel really guilty about is how the divorce is going to affect their children. They, because the, the one thing that everybody knows when they go through divorce is it's not the child's fault. 
and yet the child is the one that bears the brunt of the the family that's been torn apart. And so what happens is because they feel so guilty, it affects their parenting and they start, you know, letting the children do things that they wouldn't normally have done, giving the child too much. They change their parenting in ways that maybe they're not thinking about, but they're doing it out of guilt. So that's not a healthy thing to do, not only for, for you, but for the kids as well. You've kind of got to take responsibility for your own guilt and say, okay, is this really serving me? Is this good for my kids or not? People going through divorces are going to experience a wide variety of, of emotions, guilt being one of them. What I'm hearing from you is to kind of accept it in, recognize that it's a part of the process, and then let it go. You're not the only person who's responsible for what's happening. Just your 50% of the accountability.